go ahead and turn this. So they're four minutes away. Baby. I know, baby. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Mm hmm. Thank you. What's up, what's up? I'm still waiting for some people to come in. What's up, what's up? Waiting for people to come in. Everybody's having a good Monday so far. I'm at the house about to head out and get this load uh, delivered. How many minutes? Uh, no, like three, four. Yeah. I mean, it's only been about what, like ten. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and prosper is like what twenty minutes. <laughs> I, I, what's up, what's up? Uh, oh, shit. What's up, bro? Nah, much. Trying to get it popping off this Monday morning. Uh, same. I start my own, start doing my pre trip and my driving this week. So I'm hoping to have my CDL okay. in the next three weeks. That's what's up. You already have uh, everything, like, as far as, like, what to do for your pre-trip and, like, the study guide and stuff uh, like that? Yeah, um, the, school I'm in, the school I'm in in Texas, they actually gave me a good video of this guy. He going over everything, just showing what, how to, what to look for and everything and what to say when you go to the DMV so you can pass it. Mm -hmm. Yep. What part of Texas? I'm in Texas as well. I went to uh, Continental out in uh, Dallas. Um, I'm South of I'm in Houston. I'm going to S N R Trucking Institute. They're um a new black owned school that just opened up in Houston. So right. I'm actually going to them and get it done. How are you liking it? Um, it's pretty good so far. That um all the information's been pretty good and mm -hmm. everything that they, everything that got lined up is pretty good. So um, it's keeping me informed. We got a small class, so they're able to interact with everybody. Right, so we're getting a good one on one training, so it's going pretty smooth. Have you, uh, you already have your permit then? Oh, yes, I already have my permit. Um, I have my passenger and tanker endorsement. I'm gonna start working on my hazmat endorsement soon. You know, where uh, kind of like you lined up and where, where you want to work at and kind of what you want to do because you have some pretty good endorsements, it'll get your foot in the door with uh, a lot of these companies. Um as of right now, um, I'm still open. I was thinking about going in the oil field in Odessa or maybe mm -hmm. Wyoming and haul wall, haul, haul the water or the crude oil. But right. like I said, I'm um, I'm still I'm still undecided because I'm trying to see who's gonna um, just accept me as a new driver so I can get my experience and stuff. 
hundred percent. That's what's up. So I get over there playing the Xbox. Uh, I'm actually I got my PlayStation on right now, but I'm actually about to yeah, yeah. cut it off so I can listen to y'all and hear everything of these what y'all about to say because y'all been getting a lot of good information. I've been writing down. I've been telling a couple guys from my class to get on Twitter so you can listen to y'all talk on Mondays. For sure, for sure. And I tried to record them last week. Uh, well, unfortunately, it disconnected, which sucked because it didn't save that recording. Hmm. So hopefully, it doesn't do that again this week. I have to, uh, and this is all, um, you know, saying I'm a driver, so I have to, um, you know, what I'm saying I have to move around, but I also want to provide, you know, what I'm saying a resource for people uh, because it's not really not a whole lot of information out there. You know what I'm saying we're not able to come together and do things like this a lot. Um, so I might have to push them back. I think maybe Sunday or something like that. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to talk to y'all and uh, see, like, what's a, a – if a weekend's a good day because Monday is it's starting to get, like, you know what I'm saying, to where I'm running around, y'all running around, and, you know, everybody's uh, – let me try. I got my truck keys. Yeah. All right, I'm on my way to the truck now. Hmm. got uh, Uber to the truck. I gotta drop off this load, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let me know. I'm uh, gonna do a survey or something like that. Definitely, definitely. But um, yeah. So as far as the videos and stuff like that, how's it going? Good morning. I would just say keep going with the videos, and uh, you know, people learn differently visually. Uh, you know what I'm saying? audibly different things like that so figure out which one works better for you today and then they have a so they have the video they have the audio if you take a left this gate will let you out the video you have the audio and they have like the written uh like type of package form that they give you Mm -hmm. so you have a different uh couple ways of learning it yep that's great i just got in my uber but um yeah I i would go through those um, and then like when you take that test, they're only going, they're, they're not going to make you do the entire, uh, truck. They're going to give you like a part of it. So a lot of people like, uh, get afraid and they're like, all right, I don't know this part too good or that part too good. I'm um, just knowing like the main components they're going to get like, for me, they were like, give me the front of the trailer and then only the right side to the back. Oh, okay. So when you go to the DMV, they'll make you pick from form A, B, or C. Like well, that's... they'll they won't let you pick. They're gonna they're gonna um, you know what I'm saying they're gonna give it to you randomly. Okay. But it's not it more than likely it won't be the entire thing because you'll be out okay. there for a while and they got more people in line, so that's why they kind of break it up uh, into like sections like that. Okay. So you having your permit? Have they put you behind the wheel at all yet? Uh no, not yet. I'm hoping they would. They haven't. Some of us start on pre-trip, so come Saturday they're gonna see who's a little bit more advanced in pre-trip. So that way, if you're advanced and you can pass it, they're gonna just go ahead and just put you in the truck so you can start doing your back end and your offset right. back end and stuff like that. So we're hopefully getting in the truck. Hopefully Sunday. Sunday will be the day I can get behind the wheel a little bit and just start practicing. Got it. Got it. And um, so is this the first class for that school? Like, this is the the like first class, first week, or like? Oh yeah, this is our like first that? week for uh for this semester. Yeah, got it. And were there like students in the class before y'all, or are y'all like? Yeah, there are the... students in the class before us. Okay, got it. Have you did have you uh, talked to them any or got any advice or anything? Oh uh, yeah, I got some like... advice on um, my because I. Cause I reviewed the group before i even signed up for it i spoke with a couple of previous students they were like they got some good information they were very hands-on they helped with job placement so it was like they're like you're going to learn a lot especially in three weeks you'll be able to learn as long as you're studying as long as you're on it you're going to be it's going to fly by for sure that's what's up and um, what was your take? Like, uh, let's see. So you have your permit. Have you already done the theory training? Uh, no, I haven't done it yet. Okay. If you can, I haven't talked to anyone in, or I haven't just bothered to ask because it's just not haven't been on my mind. But let me know what you think about that. I, 
I didn't have to take any training. So I don't know uh, firsthand experience what it's like. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, if you can, jump in the room. After you take it, let me, let me know how that goes. Or just DM me. I definitely will. I uh, do appreciate it. Um, but I wanted to talk about new issues, new driver issues today. Um, just as far as finding a school, you know, uh, getting to DL, getting uh, all that pre trip stuff done. I had some questions about the pre trip on my TikTok. Uh, people were asking what's the best way to do the pre trip. Um, just like I kind of just talked with you, um, those three ways of learning it. Uh, that way, you kind of touch on all bases uh, with the video, find a good video. Some of these videos, you know, um, some of these videos, like you said, there are some good videos out there. I actually wrote a blog and, like, put, I guess, like a step-by-step, like, the video to watch. Um, you can listen to the video. So, you know, once you know the components, you can just listen to the video and kind of know what they're talking about. Um, you can download that pre-trip inspection on my website. Um, a lot of things that are available to to uh, new drivers, I try to make them uh, easily accessible and free on my website. Um, so, yeah, those were some of the issues that I've seen this week as far as people asking me questions. And, um, you know, as far as having a plan, I think that's like you're talking about, like uh, going to the oil field, um, driving, getting your hazmat tanker, thinking kind of in the uh, – of taking that initiative and thinking uh kind of forecasting that market i think that you're doing good with that because a lot of people are aren't you know really uh coming in with a plan um as far as what they want to do um, a lot of people don't understand like the different avenues that you can take as far as like you said that tanker the hazmat um the endorsements that you can get um even driving reefer and flatbed um you know, those, those types of things, people don't know uh, what a driver is or what a reefer is. Uh, but, you know, you have to do your research and understand that uh, what you want to get into out here, uh, kind of how they run those lanes with the drive in. Uh, you're pretty much over the road, a reefer, you're over the road, flatbed. Um, you know, it's a lot of East Coast driving uh, and Southwest, I mean, Southeast, Southeast, East Coast driving. Uh, so it's kind of like, uh, sometimes where you are on the map, it kind of dictates what you can do out here on the road. Um, and don't be afraid to get flown, flew out by one of these companies. I always say, like, um, just keep money so if anything happens, you can always get back home. Um, that's a big issue with, like, the economy right now. A lot of people were spending a lot more money on things, so it's harder to save. But saving money really can save you out here if anything happens uh, as far as like I said like maybe all the time you don't get along with the company you don't get along with the dispatcher you don't get along with uh, your driver trainer uh, things happen where you have to get home and um, you're saying those those emergencies require you to be some type of financially stable um, and that comes in a savings account that comes in um, just being prepared to make those types of moves when you need to, because anything can happen. But um, if anybody has, I know I got my guy, uh, uh, why, why, why IHB, um, talking about new driver issues. We got you out on the road right now. Um, I seen you was uh, tweeting some stuff about backing up on the hill and um, kind of weather issues. Those are a lot of things that new drivers run into um, as far as driving in these adverse conditions and like getting your, you know, getting your wings or however you want to put that, um, just getting acclimated to the industry, um, learning how to drive in a straight line, or driving by yourself, um, driving, like you said, through windy conditions, knowing where those wind, windy conditions will um, affect you like when you're going out west. Um, definitely going to be affected by wind because there's really like it's just flat land. Uh, when you're going through Utah and things like that, what like what adverse conditions can you face driving through those types of areas? What about like New York, um, Atlanta? Like uh, traffic is in, it's I was, it's almost like an adverse 
condition because, um, you know, it's a different type of mental challenge that you have to put yourself through um, when driving in those conditions. So you have to know how to maneuver through each one and it takes time. And, uh, you know, it's just, if you're not comfortable, stop, you know, pull those brakes, take some time, reset, think about what you can do better. Think about, you know, the, the interactions you're having out here and, and, uh, you know, if you need to call somebody, your trainer or your company, uh, like to get that refresher, like, Hey, I'm doing this right now. I don't feel comfortable. Just let them know. Um, because you're, you're always the priority. Um, your life is always the, the, what comes first before anything out here. You don't want to be one of these trucks that are rolled over <clears throat> where you have to come recover your load or, you know, no, you don't want to be in those situations. You want to be in here for long, for longevity. You want to get the full use out of your CDL and um, whatever plans you have, either staying in the industry or just using it to uh, set yourself up financially for your next move. Um, you know, by protecting that CDL that way, uh, you're able to see see that longevity in this industry. I heard somebody um, take the speaker off. What's up, JB? What's up, uh, Black Hockey Club? Uh, everybody, I see y'all in here. I appreciate y'all coming. Um, I'm going to keep this one a little quick because I know where I'm going. My signal is going to die. But um, if anybody has any questions or want to give any feedback uh, on the subject of new driver issues, any experiences you're having out here, we can talk about it um, before it's open. Um, yeah, man, um, uh, like you were just saying, man, my first, uh, my first time being out here on the road, um, my first part of my career, my first nine, ten months was, um, all local, uh, that's the route I took, um, it definitely helped me hone my skills, bumping dock, getting ready to get out here, but when you get out here on the open road, like really what Chris was saying, it's really more mental than anything, it's just, it's just keeping your mental together, because, you're going to run into issues that are frustrating. And, man, you got to be focused on this road out here because, man, um, I'm from Florida. I, I missed my first time driving through mountains, uh, you know, terrain that, that goes sideways and winding and, and all that right here. So, man, it's all about staying focused out here because, like you said, man, one little simple mistake, man, it could be over out here because it moves fast out here. But um, at the end of the day, man, it's very uh, – it's challenging, but it's so rewarding, especially when you get out here and – get your feet wet and you start accomplishing things, you know, you might have doubted yourself on. I've been in some spots that I've never been in parking wise and just to flip that motherfucker around with no problem, man. Just sticking to the basics. It's, it's a hell of a feeling, man. So that first year could be, ch that first year is challenging, but if you can make it through that first year, man, you'll be good. Trust me. For sure. For sure. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, e, what's going on this morning? I'm on my way to the truck now. Um, getting a little late start. Thought I had some time to uh, do some other things, but we're going to get to uh, get this load off and pick another load, and I'll probably just come back home and drop uh, this load off tomorrow. It's only like 150 miles to where I have to go, so it's not too bad. What's up, bro? Oh, we're hot today. Yeah, so I want to make it uh, uh, quick space today. Uh, because I know where I'm going, my signal's going to drop, and I want to make sure I have this recorded. Um, so if you have anything set that you can say to, like, a, on the subject of new driver issues, um, you want to tap in and uh, give some of your experience uh, to the people listening? Uh, yeah, right now I'm heading down to Church, Texas real quick, so I'm about 14 miles from my drive, so I know how you feel, Chris. Uh, I've been up since 3 in the morning. But um, the biggest thing with being a new driver, man, take your time. Like, don't get in a rush. If you're in a parking lot and you're trying to park and my eyes are on you, man, you got to have tunnel vision. Fuck everybody around you. They can wait for somebody to get out and help you to back into that spot, right, if you take taking too long. But the biggest thing that rookie drivers run into is feeling like they have to be in a hurry to get something done or they got to put it in the hole right the first time. Listen, don't worry about it. Run your race, right? That's the Mm -hmm. best advice I can give you. You make most mistakes you're going to make is when you're in a rush, 
you're not thinking or you feel stressed or you got a lot of noise or whatever going on around you. Man, to everything out, uh, run your race. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Um, the more you do this, the better you get at it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the best advice that I can give to a rookie driver out here. Just just be cognizant of that. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Be safe out here. That's what's up. That's real. I uh, appreciate that, E. Uh, Rose, I see you get a mic. Is there any advice you want to give new drivers on the topic of new driver issues? Um, like I said, I'm going to be cutting this place short. I'll probably be ending it in the next five minutes. So if, if you have questions, guys, get those questions ready um, so we can get those answered as quick as we can. Uh, Rose, do you have anything on the topic uh, from your experience being a new driver? Um, I'm still a new driver, so but I just wanted to add on to uh, taking your time that a lot of, like, don't, like, feel like it's the end of the world when you make a mistake like a lot of stuff that I learned like I had to make the mistake to learn like better like or if that makes sense like I don't know and I know that I didn't make like the mistakes again after just going through how I messed it up and how to move forward so don't like just think like it's the end of the world or that you're not cut out for this lifestyle or something like that that's true. I like that take. It's nothing wrong with pulling up. It's nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with pulling up. Pull ups, pull ups. That's what they're made for. Nothing wrong with a pull up. Um, uh, I give example. On the road, I have been lucky getting in big uh truck stops and able to just swing around and pull into my 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 spots the whole time. But uh, two days ago, I, I had to go to a small one. Everything you you gotta you gotta back into all of them. Um, only spots that were open was in front of the service area so you know they got the poles and stuff right there so you know, I go do my setup getting ready to get up under it you know kept looking at my right mirror I see you know see a yellow pole right then and there I seen the drivers you could tell the eyes were on me ready to ready to start getting ready to record didn't panic popped my brakes hopped my ass out did my goal got out look that's where I was at did one more little pull up you know I needed to keep my wheel straight a little bit longer before I cut it Went right on into the spot. It was a couple of guys waiting. Think I gave a shit? No, nah, because if I hit somebody's truck, that's on me. I don't got time for that. So take your time, man. The, the pull-ups are fine. You do not have to put it in the hole the first time. There's nothing wrong with it. That's great advice. That's real good advice. Um, and take it slow. I, when, I, when I'm backing up, I go as slow as possible. I'm not trying to rush. Um, like, like I don't feel, I don't feel that, you know, uh, that pressure because – like, like uh, my God just said, like, once you are in that rush, once you're in, in that, uh, that kind of fast pace, it's hard to get out of it. Uh, once you're moving slow, you know, you can keep that, keep that pace. Um, because when you hit something, there's no going back. That's it. Hey, just uh, one more point, man. You'll, you'll develop this instinct as you drive more. But if that, load, if that road doesn't look right or doesn't feel right, Yo, stop. <laughs> stop. Yo, mm -hmm. consult your Google Maps. You know, you probably got your trucker GPS. Call the receiver or shipper if you need to to verify, yo, how do I get to you? Make sure I'm going the right way because we've all had back down a, a street that we weren't supposed to turn on or we made a wrong turn, and there is no way a truck's supposed to be on that road. So you have to end up backing that bad boy all the way out. We, we've all been there. So if you can avoid that, that's good, but you definitely – Man, trust your instincts. If something doesn't look right about that road, stop. Put on your emergency flashes if you got to and, and figure it out. 100%. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it up. If, if anyone has any questions, uh, go ahead and raise your hand. Or if you have a mic and you have a question, go ahead and ask it. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. This space is recorded. I will make sure that it's recorded. You can always uh, refer back to it. I will also put it up on my YouTube. So. Uh, after the space goes down on Twitter, uh, you can check it out on YouTube at Chris Lee TV. Um, I appreciate everybody for coming. appreciate everybody's feedback. Make sure you all, uh, also follow me, follow uh, everyone who spoke uh, for, you know, any any uh, fly-by advice. I always kind of tweet um, things to help out drivers, and we do this every Monday. Uh, we might start doing it earlier or uh, even on Sunday, just to make sure that I have to uh, really get into these topics and answer everyone's questions. But if you have a question, uh, I'm going to leave the floor open for the next 30 seconds. Um, and then after that, um, 
you know, I look forward to speaking with you guys next Monday. All right, all right. Uh, B, Gerald, Sims, uh, Rose, Eric, my guy, Y-I-H-B, everybody, uh, Black Hockey Club, JB, I really appreciate y'all uh, coming. I really appreciate everybody uh, participating. And um, it's your boy, Christian TV. I'll see you guys next Monday. Also, look out. I will be doing a survey uh, just to see if we can do this at an earlier time or even uh, Saturday or Sunday, just to make sure that we, like I said, uh, get real some more good information uh, in these spaces. But I really appreciate everybody coming, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.